Hey guys, Denmo here with another cool trick called the green screen. There's two ways to get a green screen in this game. One is relatively easy and the other is kind of complicated. The easy one is to buy this furniture item and dye it to an unnatural color, like either a bright green or a bright blue. And then film in front of that with something to stand on, so you don't get those stripes. It's alright for things, but it's kind of limited because sometimes uh, the keying doesn't want to uh, work right with all these shadows and the curtains and sometimes your clothing might have some certain shade of green or whatever bullshit and it's kind of frustrating but for small things and if you can get it to work right for you it works out pretty well also you can add in stuff like spotlights and whatnot to real to uh change up your scene um but as far as like location you're limited to your house and how the lighting is in there and eh this is a pretty recent thing that they added. I had already figured out a technique before this um, furniture piece was added. So, The other way is a bit more complicated, but way more versatile, because you can do it literally anywhere. Okay, so let me show you how this works. Okay, so first you need to go to reshade.me and download reshade, and then install it. I'm not going to tell you how to install it because uh, it's complicated and you're just going to have to figure it out for yourself. Um, Reshade has a multitude of tools uh, to it and it's a post-processing thing that uh, can make your games look prettier. There's a lot of fun stuff that you can do with it. Um, if you're into that, I would definitely check it out even if you're not going to be doing uh, green screening. Okay, download and install it and make sure it's working with Final Fantasy XIV. And then you can open it up and you'll get something that looks kind of like this unless they change the version after I've made this video, which they do all the time. So right away we have profiles set to Final Fantasy XIV. We go to presets and then shaders. And there's all these different shaders you can add by clicking the check mark box. And uh, the one we want is green screen depth. However, green screen depth does not come with reshade, so you have to download something that was made by my friend Valior M and click the download in the description below and install it, and you'll get a cool thing called green screen depth. And basically, let me try to explain how that works. So Final Fantasy has a uh, screen depth uh, thing that tells us how far back stuff is in the screen. And in G-Pose, it uses that info to tell how fuzzy something should be in the background and how sharp something should look if it's right in front of us. And using Reshade, we can actually look at it. And it looks something like this. This is like a visual representation. All the black stuff is up front and all the gray and white stuff is farther back. So, using that info, you can set the green screen to make a wall of green at a certain depth behind objects in your screen. And that's exactly what that did. So, if I toggle it and hit my hotkey to start it up, it'll give me a green screen. So, now I can do just about anything. I can be like, look at me, I'm flying. I'm flying through the air. Oh my gosh. Wow. I am as big as a city. I am King Kong. Fear me. Wow. Anyway, you might have guessed, but this is limited because you can't put the green screen to extend underneath your feet. You can kind of get around this by uh, standing on a place where you can float, but uh, it's kind of hard to find a place like that if you find like a post that you can stand on the edge of. But once you figure that out, all you have to do is plop it into your video editing program and then use something called chroma keying to do different things. Alright, I guess I could just show you. Okay, so I have 
this uh, green screen footage I did of my friend Sam. It was going to go in the uh, music video, but it didn't. So here's how I would have done it if I wanted to put it in there. First, I have to have a background. Let me find a background to put them in front of. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, so I put that on my timeline. And I'm going to have two layers for my track. I'm going to put him on the layer on top. Make sure I mute any sound. I don't want to have to worry about that. So right now I can't see the layer below because it's out of the way. But if I go into the effects, I want to look for chroma keyer. Hit OK. And it's going to look for a color and blank that color out. So I have to give it the right color. So I just use the eyedrop tool. And I select the green there. And it just takes it away. Just like that. It's magical. That's why green screens are so cool. Now, if you may have to make some adjustments to it to where it works right for you. Like uh, if the, the color behind it wasn't really good, um, you play around with the editings or the um, you play around with the thresholds here. Or if there's like some uh, lines around the edges, you would mess with the threshold thresholds just a little bit to make the edges darker. But if you mess with threshold too much, you lose a lot. And after you've done that, it works just fine. I hope this info is useful to anyone who has cool ideas for videos but doesn't know how to do it. Once you get it running, there really isn't a limit to what you can do with it. Anyway, I'm going to go fly off into the sun. Bye.